Hey, what is going on today, Super Squad? It's Super Gazzy here, and today I have a battle for you guys against Scruffy Scraggy, good friend of mine on YouTube. Just met him a, a while ago, actually, and we got really close. And we were doing a few RU battles before this. He was destroying me in RU, as you guys can go check out on his channel if you go watch it. Um, I got destroyed by his team, and um, yeah, so this is me getting payback in OU. And. That's not saying I win, I'm just saying I'm better at OU than I am in RU. Um, RU is actually a really new tier to me because it's actually pretty new this generation, I think. I think they just introduced it this gen. So, RU is still like, on the fence for me. I like it because it's like NU, but at the same time it's stabilized like UU. So, it, it's on the fence for me. But, we do have an OU battle today against Scruffy Scraggy, and I did bring the threats because I was mad <laughs> for losing those last two games, I believe. So I brought the Talon of Flame, I brought the Clefable, I brought the Gengar, the Landorus I, who I have not used in a Wi-Fi battle. I don't think I've used Gengar either, but Gengar is actually really good in OU. Um, I thought he wouldn't be because of like knockoff and everything, so I haven't used him recently, but he's really he's still really good. I got the Mandibuzz, who is the physical monster, physical defensive monster of OU, and then I got Mega Manetric. And then he has the Metagross, which is obviously his Mega. You don't run Metagross in OU without being a Mega, unless it's Assault Fest. That's actually pretty viable. He has the Clefable, the Hydreigon, the Volcarona, the Mamo Swine, and the Surprise Milotic. So right here, I was predicting him to lead off with um, Mamo Swine. So you're going to see what I do, actually, to, uh, sorry about the mouse, to uh, deal with that. Because nothing on my team really wants to deal with taking an Ice Shard or getting Rocks up or anything like that. Um, him getting rocks up would actually be really horrible for my team because I do have Talonflame and Mandibuzz, and Mandibuzz is my defogger. Other than that, most of my team doesn't really care for Stealth Rock, so he leads off with the Milotic, and I was like, damn, just lead off with the counter to my lead. So, I'm gonna go for the U-turn because I am a Sharp Beak set. I would think that I use it to bluff Choice Band because a lot of people expect Choice Band, but, um... From that damage, he should just know that I'm not Choice Band, because he turns out to be an offensive Milotic. And the reason I went out into my Clefable is so that if he burns me, it doesn't really do anything. Because I do have Magic Guard. I don't know why I don't have Unaware on this Clefable, but um, it's probably best in this situation that I do have Magic Guard. Because that way, if he does burn me, it won't take me down any HP. Sorry about that. I'm just going to go for the Wish. As he goes for another Scald, that's going to take me down to about 18 HP. A little more than that after the Leftovers. 13. I mean, not 13. 30. Oh. And right here, I just go for the Protect, because I have no reason to predict. It's turn 3. I'm not going to go for something ridiculous as going for, like, Moonblast or Encore or something crazy to that extent. So, yeah, I just go for the Protect as he does go out into Binary, the shiny Mega Metagross. And right here... My best switch is to just go into Mandibuzz, because if he go any move he goes for, I can really take two of. Um, Ice Punch, I believe, isn't even a two-hit KO on Mandibuzz. It shouldn't be, because Mandibuzz has a lot of HP and some pretty good defense. So he's going to Mega Evolve, and he surprises me by going for the Iron Head, which was really weird, in my opinion, because you see most Metagross run... Uh, Meteor Mash, because you get that 10% attack raise, um, but I can see where you would run Iron Head to an extent because of uh, flinch chances and more accuracy, so you don't really miss a Meteor Mash. So he's just going to switch back out into his Clefable here as I go for the Foul Play, trying to hit the Metagross, because that was going to do the most damage to that thing, because it has a monstrous attack stat, and Foul Play would do so much... Now that uh, Steel doesn't resist Dark. So yeah, if you guys didn't know that, actually, um, Generation 5, 4, and before that, uh, Generation 2, and to Generation 5, uh, Dark actually was resisted by Steel. So uh, right here, I'm going to switch into my Gengar, because if he goes for the Moon Blast, I can take one. He goes for the Cosmic Power, though, which really threw me off, because I was expecting this to be either Calm Mine or a Wish, Clefable, nope, he has the Cosmic Power, so I figure after, even after plus one special defense, a Sludge Wave from a uh, Life Orb Gengar is gonna do a butt-ton, and it does. 
So, I bring him down to the amount of HP where he has to go for a wish, and then a protect. Um, if he doesn't have protect, then he's going to get hit with a sledge wave. I just go for the shadow ball, though, because if he switches out to the Metagross trying to take the sledge wave and pass a wish, I don't know, because Metagross isn't at that low of HP. But right here, I'm like, damn, he switches out to the high Dragon, and that can take a shadow ball. Because if I went for the sledge bomb, I would have done way more to this high Dragon and gotten the chance to poison it. But I get a critical hit, so I guess that makes up for it in a way. That's okay, Scruffy. Um... Anyway, he's going to get the wish back, and right here, he did a perfect job of bluffing the Scarf this entire game. Because I go into Clefable, and I believe he just goes for a Dark Pulse. Oh no, he switches out, predicting me to switch into Clefable, and he goes into Pixie, the Clefable. So right here, I know he's at the amount of range to be KO'd with a Moonblast. And nothing on his team really switches into a Moonblast, except for Metagross. And if he switches into Metagross, I have Mandibuzz, and then I have... I have a lot of things to hit Metagross, so I'm just going to go for the Moonblast. I know it'll KO him from this range because, um, yeah. Most Clefable run defense EVs instead of special defense, so they can't really take special attacks that are strong that well. Blah. Kids in the room with the sweater and the cheddar. And then he's going to go into his Mega Metagross, and I'm just going to switch out into my Mandibuzz, right? Yes, I do. As I believe he goes for the Ice Punch this turn, or just go for the Iron Head, whatever. Um, yeah, he can't really risk going for, like, an Ice Punch and then, like, me taking it and statusing him, maybe? Be but I don't have any status moves, as you'll see. But right here, he goes for the Ice Punch, and does it kill me? No. I live on 12 HP, but I get frozen. And then I fall out. Ah! And then I go for the Roost. Okay. So, right there, I was like, oh my god, if I stayed frozen, I would have lost this match. Because, oh, that can't happen again. That can't happen again. So, I get the roost off, I get enough HP back to the point where I can take another Ice Punch. I know I can. But he's going to switch out right here, go back into the Milotic. And I believe I go for a Foul Play, or I go, yeah, I go for a Foul Play. And this isn't going to do nearly as much to my Lotic as it would to Metagross. It's not super effective, still stab, and my Lotic has a lower attack stat. So, yeah. I'm going to switch out here back into my Clefable, I believe. Oh no, I switch out to my Netric. Okay, I don't know why I did that. That was kind of dumb. But, um... But, um... Uh, he goes for the Recover here, which I did not see coming. I thought he was going to go for, like, an Ice Beam. Oh, that's why I switched out. I thought he was going to go for like an Ice Beam or something like that, but right here I make the mistake of going for the Mega! Why? Why? <laughs> because then I get Intimidate for an ability, and then he has Competitive! And that just raises his special attack, and then I make the mistake of going for the Flamethrower, predicting the Metagross to come out! And it was just, oh my god. It was... This play is what made the score go down. And if I did not make this play, and I just stayed in and went for a Volt Switch like a smart person would have done... Oh no, I was predicting the switch out into Mamoswine, that's why I went for Flamethrower. But if I would have just stayed in, not Mega, gone for a Volt Switch like a normal person would have done, then I would have been fine. But no, I have to make these crazy plays that just end me up in these horrible situations. So, <laughs> I go for the Sledge Wave here, hoping that it would KO. If not, he has to attack me, because if he keeps going for Recover, I just keep doing damage. So he has to go for the Scald and knock out my Gengar, and R.I.P. Gengar. Um, but, oh, uh, that was just a horrible play on my part. Do never, don't ever make a play like that. But I know that I weakened him to the point where I can bring in Talonflame, go for the Brave Bird, and just knock this thing out. It doesn't matter if he wants to switch into anything. I'm not going to go for the U-turn, because then I give him Switch initi Initiative. And then he'll know what to bring in due to what I bring in, if that makes sense. Anyway, he's going to go back out into the Mega Metagross, and what I did not know here is that my Talonflame does not have enough speed to outspeed a Mega Metagross. Why? I don't know. It's honestly probably because we're at level 50, to the point where um, I don't outspeed him, but I do go for the Flare Blitz. It does a button, and that's going to bring me down to the point where I'm going to have to go for a Roost. He switches out, not wanting to take a Brave Bird or lose his Mega Metagross, because he knows he needs it for the Clefable. If he doesn't have that, Clefable is going to totally wall his team. 
except for maybe that mammoth swine, but that's a story for a different day. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna switch out here into my Clefable, I believe, as he is went out into the Hydreigon. I know Clefable can take any one hit because he's not showing me Flash Cannon, so I'm guessing he doesn't have it, which is really weird. But it makes sense because Hydreigon suffers from four move slot syndrome, so you never know what to run on him. Um, usually Flash Cannon is a must, though. But he's just going to switch out here into his Abug, the Volcarona, and I'm going to go for a Moon Blast. And I don't believe I get the special attack drop, but um, but Talonflame hard walls this thing. If he wants to go for a Quiver Dance, I can just go for a Brave Bird and knock him out. And I think I have Encore too. So do I go for the Encore? That would have been smart of me, right? Oh no, I go for the Wish. Oh, I see what I do here. I see you. I see you, Gassy. Okay. I see you, Gassy, in the passy. Pasty? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go for the Wish, and then I'm going to switch out into my Town Flame so that I can take one hit from this thing and then get the Wish back and be back at a good amount of HP to the point where I can go for a Brave Bird. But no, he wants to get greedy and go for the Quiver Dance again, which is fine by me, sir. Fine by me. You're going to take a sharp beak brave bird to the face. A sharp beak brave bird to the face. To your little bug insected face. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I knock out his Volcarona. That thing was not a threat whatsoever. But yeah. So he goes into the Mammoth Swine here, and here's what makes up for the stupid play that I made back then. He goes for the Stone Edge, he's Choice Scarf, and he misses. So I'm just going to go for the Flare Blitz, and I'm going to hit him for a butt-ton of damage. And because he has Thick Fat, it doesn't do as much, though. But it gets him to the point where I can knock him out with a Brave Bird, and that's fine by me, because I do not want this thing in my face. And I think it's just Talonflame sweep up from here, right? Maybe. I'm not sure. Anyway. Mammoth Swine's down. That's one threat gone. And now he's just going to bring out Hydreigon. I believe I just go for the U-turn here. Oh, no, I go for the Roost first. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. And then I think this is where I learn where he's not Choice Scarf, because he goes for the Roost. I ain't seen no Choice Scarf Hydreigon with Roost. So I'm going to go for the U-turn, knowing that I outspeed him now. And that is going to do a nice chunk 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 of damage it was a crit though um either way it was just damage to get off so i can go into clefable and then clefable can just wall this thing for days because i'm not seeing the flash cannon he goes for the toxic though really weird um i guess it would make sense if i had chancy or blissey or something like that that you would want to run toxic but i'm not and i'm magic guard so toxic doesn't worry me in the slightest I believe I just go for a Moon Blast here, just getting... Oh, I'm not! I am unaware. Okay, I see you, big dog. Whatever. <laughs> He's just gonna keep going for a Roost. And, uh, I didn't understand this, because Moon Blast is four times effective. You're not gonna be living too long there, buddy. So, yeah. That brings him down, uh, to the red. Even if he wants to go for another Roost, it's gonna knock him out. Um, so he either has to just attack me and hope that it kills, or, you know, just, just die. Just die. So he's gonna go for a Dark Pulse. I guess he's hoping for flinching me, and that would make sense, but I'm gonna go for the Moon Blast, and I'm just gonna knock you straight the fuck out. Get out of here. Get out of here. That's right. So yeah, I think all he has left here is the Mega Metagross, and I believe I have Mandibuzz, Talonflame, Landorus, and Clefable? I believe so. So right here, I'm just going to stay in on the Metagross. I don't want to play any games with him going for an Ice Punch and then Mandibuzz not living it, or him going for some crazy move and knocking something out and then getting a Metagross sweep out of nowhere. Just, that would be too far for me. So, just getting rid of Clefable is fine by me. I'm going to go into Talonflame. I know it can take one hit from this thing, but I just go for the Brave Bird because I'm a greedy little fuck and I want to keep the score. So, that was good game, Scruffy. Um, 
but that was payback for me losing two RU battles. Um, that hacks did matter, honestly, that missing the Stone Edge, but I made an unbelievable overprediction that nobody should ever make, and this should teach you kids that if you make a horrible overprediction, it's going to cost you. So, that was a very close 3-0 in my favor, and it was close because he could have easily swept me, and me making that overprediction is what really made the game so close, and that is why you don't do that. So, that's a lesson for you guys. If you enjoyed the battle, leave a like. Go check me out on Twitter. Go find my hilarious tweets and laugh at me because I cry at night. Anyway, peace out, Super Squad.